Welcome back to Automotive Territory. It is time we took a break from open highways and enjoyed open seas instead. In this episode, we'll explore the world of extremely overpowered speedboats and magnificent luxury yachts that, just like supercars, defy any limits in performance and opulence. So, as always, let's put on our finest home garments and enjoy window shopping of the most anticipated yachts in 2022. Before we begin, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, ring the bell, and let's depart on the cruise. Cigarettes 91 Nighthawk AMG Black Series The latest 730-horsepower strong performance flagship of the AMG GT line, labeled Black Series, once again fueled the collaboration between Mercedes-AMG and Cigarette Racing. This is the 13th project from the partnership that dates back to 2007. The advanced engineering efforts of the Miami company were fulfilled in a 41-foot speedboat that promises unfiltered performance, luxurious features, and striking design. The creators achieved a very low center of gravity through the implementation of a completely carbon fiber deck and an all-carbon fiber hardtop. This is the first model in the class to feature five racing-grade outboard engines, namely the Squintet of 450R 4.6 liter V8s from Mercury Racing makes 2,250 horsepower. Controlled via an advanced shadowing throttle system, the Cigarette 41 Nighthawk AMG Black Series can reach 78 knots or 90 miles per hour. Foiler Headquartered in the United Arab Emirates, an Atamarine manufactures befitting flashy powerboats to satisfy extravagant tastes of the local tycoons. The Foiler is a 32-foot vessel with a carbon fiber hull and a game-changing flying yacht technology. Initially, its diesel-electric propulsion system was sourced from BMW, but the latest powertrain setup is represented by two V8 diesel engines that power the boat's torpedoes with a combined output of 740 horsepower. In the cruise mode, the yacht develops 18 knots, but in the hydrofoil-only mode, it rises above the water for 5 feet, reaching the maximum speed of 40 knots. The switching between modes takes mere seconds with a single push of a button, while the rigid carbon fiber hydrofoils provide stability even with 10-foot waves. Equipped to the highest luxury standards, the foiler is offered in three layouts, but a customer can also order a custom build. Sunseeker Predator 55 EVO Just like with their first vessels launched more than 50 years ago, the UK-based luxury yacht maker continues to rely on head-turning performance and styling to attract more customers. The latest launch symbolizing Sunseeker's philosophy is the cutting-edge Predator 55 EVO. The sport cruiser features an aggressive low-profile exterior, raked windshield, a black cabin top, and plenty of stainless steel detailing. Despite the performance-oriented look, the guests will not lack comforts with the upholstered seating for six, a spacious coffee table under the carbon fiber sunroof, and a U-shaped sun lounge on the foredeck. The salon is also equipped with the Sunseeker's AV zoning system, which allows to listen to different music in different parts of the yacht. Propelling the Predator are two Volvo Penta T11s, so the yacht provides sturdy and responsive handling even at 28 knots cruising speed. Make sure to smash the like button if you would like us to create non-automotive top lists more often, and simply support our channel with thumbs up. Thanks in advance, and let's keep going! Brabus Shadow 900 XC Cross Cabin The flagship boat from Brabus gets a new iteration this year, labeled the luxurious sports utility vehicle made for the sea. The model features a fully enclosed, all-weather capable cabin with an electrically opening roof, seating for seven people and two sliding doors. Captain-centered as usual, the Shadow 900 is also equipped with a new multifunction steering wheel as well as a highly sophisticated electronics package. The dashboard accommodates two 12-inch displays with Brabus user interface and an intelligent steering module. As the rest of the family, the 37-footer is good for 12 people and is powered by two 4.6-liter V8s, making 450 horses each. These ensure maximum speeds of 55 knots. Depending on your needs, the XC Cross Cabin can be optioned with an additional multi-storage package or with a fully equipped aft cabin featuring a queen bed.
Malibu 25 LSV. Malibu's best-selling Wake Setter series is getting a fully redesigned 25-footer this year. It combines handling of smaller boats and luxury characteristics of larger ones. The 25 LSV gets a fully redesigned Wake Plus hull, comes powered by one of the top Malibu Monson engines and offers increased ballast capacity of 5,180 pounds, ready to fill at a push of a button. As a result, the boat makes even more legendary wakes and waves for the entire family of water adventurers. The model can accommodate up to 18 people and it features new expandable lounge seats as well as the multi-view wake bench with a built-in table. The soft grab flooring provides sure footing on board, while the redesigned swim platform with smaller steps and an available power step simplifies getting in and out of the water. Candela Self-proclaimed as an entirely new type of vessel, the Candela combines electric propulsion with the active hydrofoil system. Candela channels experience from fighter jet and airplane building to create an extremely light, yet rigid and strong hull made of vacuum-infused carbon fiber. The single motor outputs 74 horsepower and is connected to a 40 kWh battery that stores up to 50 nautical miles worth of charge at 22 knots cruising speed. The C7's hydrofoil system is computer-controlled and adjusts 100 times per second to ensure smooth ride. Moreover, the propulsion unit is fully retractable in shallow waters for trailing and storage. All the systems of this Candela boat are monitored and managed through a 12-inch infotainment. The C7 has an F-teak table, 12 courtesy lights, teak deck, underwater lighting, sunbed and cruiser cover. Galleon GTO 325 With dealerships all around the world, the 40-year-old Polish manufacturer is a well-known name on the market of luxury yachts. In 2021, it introduces the new Grand Touring Outboard series that will have four models. Its first and the smallest member is the 325 GTO. Being just 33 feet long, she offers bit yacht comforts with a deep bow rider seating area, adjustable table and premium upholstery. The cockpit has a spacious lounge area with several sofas, air conditioning and LED lighting throughout. To protect the guests from the burning sun, the GTO's hardtop features a slide-out awning, while on the left side there is a galley with a fridge, canyon stove and a microwave. The set is propelled by a duo of Mercury Verado outboards, making between 300 and 450 horsepower. The most powerful version is capable of 45 knot speeds. Lamborghini 63 by Technomar In a popular fashion of automakers cooperating with yacht builders, Lamborghini has joined efforts with the Italian sea group to create a bespoke speedboat. Co-branded as Technomar for Lamborghini 63, the vessel was named after the year of Lambo's foundation and inspired by the Cyan FKP37 hybrid supercar. The model weighs 24 tons, measures 63 feet in length and falls into the ultralight boat category. But sadly, you will not be able to tow it with your Lambo. The yacht is propelled by two 2000 horsepower V12 engines from MAN that guarantee speeds up to 60 knots, which makes her the fastest boat in Technomar fleet. Inside, there are Lambo sport seats, lots of carbon fiber elements, car inspired instrumentation with stop and start button, and two unique styling options that can be customized via the Ad Personum program. Brabus Shadow 900 Black Ops Limited Edition 1 of 37 The special edition version of the Shadow 900 is already available in Spider and Santa body styles, each limited to 37 numbered units. Since the boats share the same propulsion components with the already discussed XC crossover cabin, we won't discuss them in detail. But we will mention that both models have even higher top speeds of 60 knots, probably due to being slightly lighter. The Black Ops models wear an exclusive gunmetal grey paint job with a new fairing, come equipped with gullwing doors that let you below the deck, and feature Mercury Racing carbon fiber panel kit for the engines. The boats also get even more exclusive finishes and interior elements, custom badges and Brabus signature aluminum steps. 
Greenline 45 Coupe Hybrid. Established back in 2008, the Slovenian Greenline Yachts is a pioneer of the hybrid propulsion technology. In 2020, the company introduced the fifth generation of their drive, and today it is already available on the all-new 45 Coupe boat. This propulsion system consists of two diesel engines, either from Falfo or Yanmar, two electric motors that double as generators, and an 80 kWh battery to feed the latter. The yacht can travel up to 25 nautical miles on electricity alone, and its top speed in diesel mode reaches 23 knots. It also gets a huge solar panel array with 2.7 kWh output for replenishing up to 15 kWh on a sunny day. The double-decker measures 51 feet in length, accommodates up to 6 people overnight, and fits a luxury kitchen and a salon on the top level. Downstairs, you get several bedrooms, two bathrooms, and even a walk-in closet. Sunseeker 65 Sport Yacht Combining sporty DNA with an impressively spacious interior, this new model took Sunseeker almost two years of development. The 65 Sport Yacht is fundamentally different from the company's current lineup in the 60-foot segment. She boasts a sleeker exterior profile with extensive use of carbon fiber and polished stainless steel, innovative design of the helm station, and a modular layout which allows to specify the bridge designs. The 65 has three unsweep cabins, accommodating up to six guests, and there is also a fully appointed crew cabin located forward of the garage. If you choose to carry the tender on the bathing platform, then the vacated space can be reconfigured into a beach club area with an integrated bar, barbecue, and freestanding seating. On the open water, the 65 Sport Yacht makes up to 35 knots and can travel up to 650 nautical miles. How did you enjoy today's cruise? Which one of these boats would you like to own? As usual, I'll be waiting for you in the comment section to discuss today's video. Smash the like button if you're enjoying our content and subscribe to AT not to miss the upcoming episodes. More exciting top 10s are on the screen, just follow the links. May the torque be with you!